constitutional significance then of your students. How important is today? The most. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, there's just a lot of things. Oh, and just I feel as a, I mean, in this, in this, as a young student, and we're going to be a young man, I am more excited than I have been about this in a long time. Well, great for you. God, God, America. God bless America. We'll talk to some of you guys later on. Thank you very much. Uh, from that, from Pennsylvania Avenue, back to you, Jeremy. <laughs> What a great the mood they're all in down there on the Pennsylvania Avenue and, and also the crowd around me. I mean, incredible, uh, uplifting mood. People seem to be inspired. They see there's a great national celebration that is going on today. And we're watching uh, former presidents uh, who are going to, of course, be among the guests of honor today. Uh, Jimmy Carter, we saw George Bush uh, Senior, and Barbara Bush going in a few minutes ago, Bill Clinton as well. So the parade of former presidents there. We had a photo call a week or so ago when uh, George Bush, the current president, uh, introduced the former presidents to Barack Obama. They sat down and had a quiet chat behind closed doors, uh, no doubt reminiscing and giving him a few tips about what to expect. And uh, Bill Clinton uh, now starting to follow in with Hillary, of course, Secretary of State, uh, and the crowd here cheering, there seems to be an awful lot of Bill and Hillary fans around us. <laughs> Bill Clinton, the 42nd President of the United States with uh, Hillary, Secretary of State. We were talking to David Miliband, the British Foreign Secretary earlier, who said that he'd been in touch with her and he expected uh, it to be a very good working relationship uh, with her on foreign matters around the world, a lot of very pressing matters, as he was saying, including the current Middle East crisis, the uh, Israeli-Palestinian situation in Gaza, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran, North Korea, and uh, we also talked with Mr. Miliband about Guantanamo Bay and the uh, idea that uh, Barack Obama is expected to sign an executive order very quickly that will uh, close that with all the legal complications that brings and uh, how uh, Britain has already taken back some of those uh, who were some of those British subjects who were there. Now George Bush coming in, George Bush Sr. The parade of former presidents being shown out into uh, very much the front row seats. <laughs> the Clintons close behind. We saw Jimmy Carter as well. George Bush Sr. Um, walking with the aid of a stick, looking um, more his age at the moment. Uh, we know he went back in there the last couple of days. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bush went in there to see their son. George W. and Laura there just to uh, have a final reminder of the White House, which of course they occupied uh, in the late, late 1980s through to 92 when Bill Clinton beat uh, George W. H. Bush. Jimmy Carter there, who of course was elected in uh, 1976 before uh, Ronald Reagan took over. So, Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter. George Bush Sr. and Bill Clinton and uh, Jimmy Carter. Of course, Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton, the last two Democrats in the White House before Barack Obama takes up office today. The only one missing from that period covering 1976 to 2008 is, of course, the late Ronald Reagan, who served two terms from uh, 2000, from 1980 until 1988. Ladies and gentlemen, the 39th President of the United States, Jimmy Carter and Mrs. Rosalind Carter.
team make their way out onto this uh, bright but chill morning. Interesting around me, I'm hearing that the emergency services and first aid have never been so busy. According to some of the police officers and first aiders here, um, <laughs> there are uh, an awful lot of emergencies out here on the Mall. This crowd have waited patiently since before dawn, many of them, probably a million, a million and a half people, and uh, many of them suffering in the cold. There have been cases of frostbite as well as all sorts of other ailments. And uh, incredible problems on the local metro, the underground, He's getting trouble here. The 42nd President of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton, and Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. Office come when the new president takes office. We're now